Hi, welcome back to Waxing On. It's Monday, and today we're going to look at an artist who's been around since the mid 70s. And you got to remember, back in those days, we had no computers. I mean, there was no Google this or check out YouTube. The way we heard about albums is if we got some airplay on radio, and a lot of times that was AM radio, I mean, FM was just coming into play, or word of mouth. Now, the album I have today is uh, one, I've talked about this on other shows, where when you went to, uh, when I was at my friend's houses, everybody seemed to have one or two of these key albums. Um, I think I've mentioned Bad Out of Hell by Meatloaf, you know, Jackson Brown, Running on Empty. A couple others were Don McLean's American Pie or uh, Carol King's Tapestry. This was another one that seemed to show up in a lot of collections. And it's Chris DeBerg, Spanish Train and Other Stories. A&M Records, uh, Chris was signed to A&M mid-70s. This was the second album he put out. Now, again, not a lot of airplay for this. Uh, where I am, FM was just coming into play and he was getting a little bit of airplay from that. But not a whole lot. So again, it was a situation where you found out about this by word of mouth. Somebody would say, hey, check this guy out. Or you'd hear it at somebody's house or somebody'd have it and you'd say, hey, can you play that for me? That's how we found out about new music. And this album, A&M Records, recorded in 1975. And basically, Chris DeBerg, originally he was identified as a art rock performer move more into pop music. I found with these, it's a lot of storytelling. Now, in the mid 80s, he had a real big hit with a song called Lady in Red. And that was kind of like the breakout one into AM radio. I mean, everybody was playing it. It was a big hit. It really brought him to the attention of a lot of people. But prior to this, there was a pretty small group that knew of him. Although he was still doing a lot of touring and he was touring through Canada at that time as well. Let's just take a look at the album, uh, again, Spanish Train and Other Stories. Give you some idea of the songs that are on it. Uh, we've got on side two first, I'll get to side one here. Uh, Spanish Train, Lonely Sky, The Song for You, Patricia the Stripper, and A Spaceman Came Traveling. Again, a lot of storytelling in here. All the selections are written by Kristen Berg as well, by the way. Um, we've got side two, I'm going home, the painter, old friend, the tower, and just another poor boy. Now, a lot of tunes may not sound familiar. Uh, Spaceman Came to Traveling sounds familiar. Spanish Train was familiar. And it was about a four or five minute song, which at that time was just kind of pushing the limit. AM radio was running two to three minutes. They really didn't have a lot of longer songs than that. You start getting these longer ones, and that's where FM was really coming to coming into play. Now, this one also, seeing that it's an album, had an insert. Just a one-page insert, this one. And on this page, we're looking at a little bit of Spanish Train. It's actually the words for Spanish Train. So you can follow along. And again, it's a, a fairly long piece he's got. And on the other side, you can't really see it for the glare. Maybe it's just the words to all the other songs. Which, again, is something I really like because now I can follow along. Maybe I want to sing along. Maybe I just want to understand the words. Maybe I want to read it. I'll tell you, a lot of times I've got a book... Uh, <clears throat> Tom Waits tunes, and it's like reading poetry. A lot of these stand alone. I mean, yeah, great tunes, but looking at it from the idea of poetry, <clears throat> a lot of these lyrics are really very, very interesting and very fun just to read on their own. Now, Krista Berg's still outgoing. I mean, this has been, what, 1970s. We're talking five decades he's been out there. I was just looking on his website. He's still touring. Uh, a little bit in Great Britain. He's doing a tour of Canada coming up in the spring. He's going to be in my neck of the woods again. And then the rest of the years into the summer seems to be in Europe. So still actively performing, actively recording. Um, you want to check out his music? Sure. Streaming networks, great place to start. YouTube. Go to his website. Uh, lots of great information and uh, stories there. So a performer that, to me... 
was not somebody that was, you know, a household name. People knew about him because of Meyer. People heard about him, or you, like I say, word of mouth is how we found out about him. And I think even at this point, there could be a lot of people that really might not know Christa Berg at this stage. So it's kind of like our little secret, but you can spread the word. So take a few minutes, check him out. It, you may be very surprised. Again, this is early, early work. He's still putting out uh, music, and I have to admit, I haven't heard any of the later material. I may go back now. Uh, I had kind of forgotten about him now that I found this in my collection and decided to do the show today. I may go back and check out some of the new music. But this was the second album he put out just when he was getting started to give you an idea of what he was up to at that point. So that's it for Monday. It's the music of Chris DeBerg. The album was Spanish Train and Other Stories. Check it out. See you on Wednesday when it's classic rock. Till then, everybody take care. Stay safe. Thanks for stopping by.